right, so we're continuing with Morrowind Part Two, um, and uh, you know, post charity, um, post charity exhaustion is in, boys. So uh, don't expect a high energy stream, but that doesn't matter because Morrowind is a really chill out game anyway. But uh, yes, indeed, and I'm delivering on on the Thursday promise too. So hey, look at that, in time, you know. All right, anyway, <clears throat> let's do this. Boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy. All right, so, as I said, let's play some damn Morrowind. The Adventures of Cobb Salad returns. The old man voice. Bah, French. All right. Oh boy, oh boy. I have been in the mood to play some Morrowind, and this is the stream to get out on. All right. Cobb Salad. Cobb Salad. Alright, but anyway, uh, so, 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 we are back in the land of Morrowind. There he is, Cobb Salad. Wonderful. Alright, anyway, so where were my last quest that I did? I did some fire, fire, what I'm talking about. Fire Eye. I did a quest for Fire Eye. Everybody's need some fighter skill stuff right now. And, uh, let's see, Aedith Fire gave me my share of my depth money. I guess we're going back to because because we are progressing in the blades quest right now, which uh, is a lot of fun. Uh, let me just backtrack here. Say <laughs> All right. Anyway, a lot of people have been recommending me open Morrowind, uh, which I I don't fully understand what it is yet. It is a script enhancer or something like that. Sound of the game is a tiny bit too loud, bro. Oh, thank you so much for telling me that. That's gonna help me and my OCD audio issues. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello, uh, Chaos. Chaos. I'm gonna call you Chaos, mm. not not Johnny. Um, it's more of a created in a new engine, essentially. Yeah, but what does it do? Like, what what can you do with it? What are, what what are the advantages of playing that? Is it because it's going? <laughs> All right, but anyway, let's talk to this guy. Hey, are you discuss your orders, Cobb Salad, or is there anything else you want? It's multiplayer. Oh, that's a difference. There's a difference. Oh, oh, Marwind. There's some other th stuff. It's like a. It runs much better on PCs. Okay. Well, there's one that's a multiplayer mod, and Open Marwind is like a different thing. So, confusement. Anyway. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I got some. Orders here. Get information about the narrowing secret call to the sixth house secret call from Hasphalt Antibolus. Like I told you. Oh, you did tell me. You did tell me, didn't you? Okay, well. Let me check my journal here real quick. The spy master sent me to the talk to the ha Hasphalt. Sounds like Asphalt. <laughs> Antibolus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. I'm to ask him what he knows about the narrowing secret cult and the sixth house secret cult. In return to report to the spy master. First, I'll have to do some favors for Antibolus, then I'll give him the information that the spy master wants. All right, well, you just enjoy yourself in your little pillow fort there. Did you upload the other Resident Evil 5 VODs yet? Uh, funny story about that, I haven't done any more Resident Evil 5 since the last part, so... You know, I got so sidetracked with the, you know, the GTA San Andreas spooky mystery special and stuff like that, so... Um, you know, uh, just sloppy streaming on my part, but I, you know, I try to stream every day, so... Anyway, let's head to the, uh, Fighters Guild here and talk to Antibolus down here. We did a lot of fighter skill stuff, didn't we? Yeah, we did a ton, actually. Isn't the music a tad bit too loud? Well, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Around there, I guess. Alright, there we go. Fucking sound problems. A little bit more. Alright, that should be good enough. Alright, oh, here he is. <laughs> good day, Cub Salad. So it was Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Of course, this and this for that involves. I require a favor first. And I'll tell you what you want to know. This character does not sound like this at all. There are dwemer ruins nearby called that, that. I need you to run over there and find me a little cube with a circular design and some symbols on one side. It's called a dwemer puzzle box. Bring me back the dwemer puzzle box and I'll tell you what you want to know. Bah, the fringe. So we're going over to get a cube. Um, 
And so Duever ruins to uh, essentially... <sighs> There's a lot of dick sucking quests right now. We're just well, polishing balls to have people talk more to us. So Speak freely. Fire, you need to move your ass. <sighs> yes, literally this quest is all about getting a cube. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of favors to do in any role-playing game, and this is one of the low-level ones we need to do to progress the story. But uh, lo and behold, we are on a good. Should have asked for directions, actually. So let me, uh, <laughs> if I recall correctly, hang on. I shouldn't be immediately bursting out of the fighters' guild. <laughs> How funny is this? Yeah, Hasfalt. I, I forgot to ask you where the fuck this thing is. Go get me a cube. Yeah, we Yeah, sorry, I... I <laughs> hey, I, I forgot. Okay. Hey, Asphalt. Where is this dwe Well, first of all, where is... The old Dwemer ruins that are extensive on the surface and on the ground. Head south of town, past the Silstrider port, and cross bridges. Cast over the old Eye River, at the signpost. Head north towards Caldera. Immediately to the right, set a sound post for Molog Maw. Turn right and head uphill on an old road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over Foyada, my man. The entrance to Iron is on the east side of the Foyada, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on a pipe nearby to open the doors. Wow. That's amazing. Hmm. Do you know anything about the disappearance of the dwarves? The disappearance of the dwarves predates in pale written records. Dunmer oral accounts record that the dwemer. <laughs> this voice is not at all what Hasfold sounds like. Alright, he's like, he sounds like this. Hello? But whatever. <laughs> dwemers are utterly destroyed by the gods for profane practices and impity. Dwarven ruins are scattered across Tamriel, and weapons, armor, housewares, coins, and the items of dwemer design are often found. But the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of the dwarves remain of Tamriel's greatest mysteries. Okay, well, good. Now let's get this damn puzzle box. Now, again, I'm trying to keep this a spoiler-free playthrough, but the actual disappearance of the dwarves in Morrowind is a really interesting one. Uh, and I don't know how much I can talk about this if you actually want to follow these playthroughs through with no spoilers, but uh, it essentially involves the uh, the dwarves. Uh, by, by the way, this is the uh, this is the canon explanation of all the Elder Scrolls games. Why there are no dwarves in this lush fantasy setting? You would think there is. There's elves, there's orcs, but there's no dwarves. And the reason for that, I guess, I can keep it. I don't know without spoiling too much, but um, the dwarves were fucking around too much with technology, and essentially they they undid themselves out of existence. Um, I'm gonna go into detail what happens later, but yeah, they uh, they basically uh, undid themselves from existence. Um, and there's a lot of fan theories about what actually happened, but uh, yeah, they uh, and it, they, this disappearance of the dwarfs is really tied into the story of what happens in Morrowind later. Uh, it's very vital, so I can't tell you too much, but it's going to be quite the uh, the story that will unfold around it. They typed kill all into console. Well, I would say they, they more so did just kill in Gary's mode and went beep, beep, beep. Actually, that's not even correct either. They didn't even do that. They didn't die. They essentially just quit server, you know. All right, anyway. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Well, how you doing, buddy? All right, well, this quest is fucked. All right, wait, anyway, let's, let's do this. A nice skeleton, dumbass. I do I do have some fate tea on me, please. Did I really go all the way to this fucking Dwever ruin and not bring any for... Oh, well, I'm a goddamn idiot. Why the fuck did I not bring any... Fuck, whatever. Gonna have to... Dude, this guy is real excited to fight me. Hey, you, you quit this right now. What is wrong with you? Everybody likes to jiggle. Ah! Ah! Sk 
skeleton got my ass. All right, well, listen, we're not we're not gonna continue this quest unless we get some goddamn fatigue potions. All right. <laughs> oh, oh, did the game really crash too? <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> well, okay. Well, that 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 went far. <laughs> well, inter interesting development so far. Unbelievable. All right. Well, I am using a, a patch to this, so it should be. There we go. All right, we're back. Sorry, but we're gonna head up some hit up some fatigue potions immediately because we're not gonna go to this ruins with no fatigue potions because they are quite vital to the combat in this game. No fatigue, you'll be running down and on the floor, and you will be not be able to fight, which is really important. Anyway. Now, there's a lot of pl places we can get some fatigue potions from, and I believe there are... I guess I can get some from, like, a pawnbroker or something like this, yeah. Yeah, I guess if we talk to Ravir. Oh, by, by the way, Ravir is a bastard. Th th this cat right here... No time for you. This cat right here is a bastard, right? I'll tell you why. Um, he has... First of all, this, 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 this kitty cat is an idiot because he puts stuff in the back of his shop without checking it. So I can easily just bleep, 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 take the stuff, but I don't want to do that. But uh, let's talk to Mr. Meow here. Ravir knows why you are here. You want to buy Ravir's famous Daedric weapons? I sure do want to buy some Daedric weapons. What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you're right. But Ravir is no liar. When you wish it, Ravir's fiend, demon, and devil weapons will be as sharp as a fine Daedric. So it's basically just selling you Daedric summon weapons, which I never liked. Listen, it's like it's like borrowing stuff. It's like renting a movie. It's like you don't you're not owning it. And you get it well again you can get uh let's see here. Yeah essentially you have this devil spear which gets you a Daedric weapon for sixty seconds which blah blah. So listen sell your bootleg shit somewhere else. I'll take you to the vet. Oh, Moon Sugar! Oh, he's, a, he's a crack addict. Okay, cool. <sighs> Alright. Let's see here. Uh, we're not going to go to an outfitter. I guess, where can I get some cheap... Cheap fatigue potions? I guess I can go to the Yellow Mages. My time is but do these guys so trade much. with uh, non-guild members? Alright, well, I guess I can check real quick. Hey, Mazgob. How you doing? Yes, she does. Let's see here. Let's see. Where is your uh, fatigue stuff? Uh, resistance. There we go. I'll take that very much. And I'll take down the price to 13 gold. And you will sell me this. Thank you. All right. That should be enough. But I'm also feeling maybe a little bit more, in fact. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything else? Perhaps I can... Oh, I, I'll take these two. I'll take these two. And I'll, you know what? While we're at it, get a little bit of... Health potions too, and I would also like uh, standard restore intelligence. So just ram this thing, uh, streamer juice. Uh, store health, sure. Store luck. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And I'm gonna take down the price to 170. I think. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so let's go out there and kick some uh, some naked shirtless dudes' ass. Fatigue. Okay, well, how do you say it then? Fatigue? Fatigue? <laughs> how, how am I saying it? Phrasing. You got it. Fatigue. Fatigue you. Welcome back to the Morrowind. Today I will get the fatigue potion. On this crazy dark elf island. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, again, we're gonna go up to this uh, Dwemer, Dwemer ruin, and we're gonna get some cool stuff, perhaps. But we're doing a favor for this Hasfalt guy because, uh, yeah, Chaos construct. Well, he instructed us to do some favors for him, get some information. What dialect was that supposed to be? Yes. Okay, well, anyway, let's get up here. And this time I'm ready. Ready for you this time. I'm gonna wait until an hour here. Alright. 
Hey. Oh. We might have a problem now. Okay, well, whatever, whatever, whatever. All right. Listen here, jackass. You're not going to summon your skeleton this time. Get over here. Ooh, he hurts like a fucker. Oh, good thing I bought all those potions. Mmm, delicious drink in the middle of combat. Oh! Alright, well that, that went smoother than, than I hoped. Okay. Ooh, fur boots. That's heavy, this is light, so... Uh, well, you know, I, I could... I could have armor on, but you know what? Listen, Cobb Salad does not wear any armor, alright? I don't need to dance. Alright, heal up here. I feel a little bit cheap whenever I heal up standing in the same spot, but it's in the game, so whatever. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh! Oh! There fucking is! Ah! 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 <laughs> it begins! <laughs> oh, thank God. No more, please. No more. Alright. I guarantee you there's gonna be a fucking cliff or there's a common any moment now going. Okay, well, um, uh, cliff races is a bit bit of a meme in Morrowind. There's a lot of them, and they, they pop up every once in a while, but yeah, uh, I love them. Like I love, I, I love them like I love uh, uh, diary. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we're in the uh, we are in the location of the this is the Dwemer ruins, by the way. Now here's some, something a little interesting for for this game. Now, this Daedric language is actually an, an actual language that's written. It's just not just someone typing out ASDF, you know. Uh, and it turns out that the text scribble on the walls here, uh, here's a little interesting for you, is actually the one of the developer's online handles reversed. And I forget what it actually is, but he put himself in the game a little bit like, hey, it's me. What's this? Flynn. Ooh, this is really good, actually. Take this too. I said this before, but there's one thing in Morrowind that I love. I love the fact that I can have a lantern and walk around with it. Look how cool that is. I don't know why, but I always love this. You don't need a torch, you can take a fucking lantern and walk around, you know? But, we're not gonna do that. But I can't put it down there. Well, let me get my sword back in. Alright, and my shield. And my shield! Okay, well... Hey, 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 hey! Friends? No. Okay, well... What a dumbass. Christie's Link. Alright. Steal. I'm gonna steal his shoes. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. And these Dwemer, Dwemer ruins are still active, by the way. They are... Well, they're not making anything, but they are definitely, like, still working. It's a mystery what, what it does, but... Um, yeah, the, the the dwarfs in 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 the Elder Scroll series they were oh, look at that weight ten uh, twenty value yeah, that's not too much actually uh, but they were real oh a diamond look at that but yeah they they were essentially industrial geniuses and they uh they uh they got too smart. I love, I love, you can just smell the rust in this environment, I love it. I love the atmosphere in this game. Okay. You quit this right now. No one can match me! What did you have? A, a tanto. Okay. Heaven's Gallery. Oh, hey, 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 hey. More people that want to die. What's up, dude? Oh shit, my, my thing's out of charge here. Excuse me? It's like Kai's brother there. Alright, 
who had a belt on him? I'll take that. Mmm, sweet. Alright, anything in the chests? Nothing here, nothing here. Now, way back when I first played Morrowind, uh, I had a big trouble with this quest because, you know, it's very confusing, this whole, whole place. And this Dwemer puzzle box is really small, and you can easily miss it, so there's a lot of people missing this for the first time. But uh, here's something interesting. Um, if I had levitation here, if I went to the major skill and I got like a cheap levitation skill, so that's a, that's a thing in Morrowind. Uh, Oblivion and Skyrim doesn't have levitation anymore, but this game does. You can start flying if you want. Uh, if I went to the major skill and I got a cheap levitation thing, I could have easily blooped over here, and I think there's a bit of a boss guy here. I guess boss guy, but I could also try to do this. All right, think I can jump this? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no. Okay, okay. I'm gonna do this one more try. One more try. Fire bad. Fire hurt salad. Oh, it's a punch down effect. Okay, you will need levitation at this game later on because a lot of wizards in this game have this dickish mentality where. If you don't come up and knock on their door with levitation, they say, well, fuck, you're not worthy. And, uh... There's also a lot of wizards in this game that are absolute crack smokers. Like, they are nuts. Absolute nutheads. I've said this before, but... Um, what, what, what is the writer of Morrowind called again? It's obviously Todd did not make, like, all of this game, but, like, um... I believe the writer of this game, like, he basically locked himself in for a week with a, like, a bottle of whiskey and a, a carton of cigarettes, and he just wrote, wrote this crazy shit. Um, Rod Bloward. Now, he, his actual name is, uh, I think it's, uh, Michael Kirk, what the fuck is his name? Michael Kirkbridge. Okay, well, anyway, beside the point, but the writer wrote so much crazy high fantasy in this game that it's... Um, it's quite odd match, but um, I'll tell you later in the game. Is a bit of a spoiler, I guess, but I'll tell you early. It's it's quite weird and like what the fuck. Basically, this one wizard that uh, will help you later in the game with something. He lives in this giant mushroom tower, and he's basically the a super wizard. He's so great at what he does, but he's bored all day because he's immortal, right? So what he did, he, uh, he made himself uh, three clones that he fucks all day. And he also refers to these uh, wives as his daughters. Actual canon in the game. Uh, absolute fucking nutcase. And this is in the game. So Kirkbride sat there and drank whiskey all day and said, Yes, I'll put that in the game. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Alright. There's a lot of these weird as hell things in Morrowind, and I kind of like it because of this, because everything in this game is just bizarre, you know? It's like, I don't know, it's just it's just like no other game, really. And I'm not talking about fucking your clones here, alright? I'm talking about just mushroom things and ruins like this and weird magic wizards and... <sighs> it's not done that. Well, I'm dead. Oh, hey, okay. Let me just get a little lazy with this. Let me explode this a little bit. Let me just go back here. And do this. Super cheap. Super cheap. Just wait, but, you know. Magic wizards. Yeah, but, you know, like extra spicy magic wizards. Hey, hey, hey. You chill out. Ah! There we go. Again, I'm trying to keep spoilers to a minimum, because there's a lot of other crazy shit in this game that I love to talk about, but... I kind of have to keep most of it a little... little under wraps, because if I talk too much about it, I kind of spoil the story, so... But as you can see, the Dwemer Ruins are still very much active in this game, like... You know, they were technological geniuses, they used steam and all this... strange steam device, you know? Look at this, and it's quite valuable too, so if I have the strength to do so, I could carry all these cogs, but they are quite heavy. So I'm gonna carry one. I'm gonna carry one. I'm also carry an apprentice's armor hammer, because um, this could come very useful, because I don't like to pay for having a hammer or armor 
help my shit. So what I do instead, I do this. Genius. And I just buy a ton of hammers and I just hammer away. <laughs> and we have, also have a lockpick here, which um, I don't lockpick a lot in Morrowind. I essentially get really cheap with it, or I, I, I you know what, I, I, it's the opposite of being cheap. I instead just go to a local wizard and I tell him, listen, just make me a spell, I'll buy your shit, open this door for me, I'll pay you 20 bucks, alright, shut up. Oh hey, how you doing? You, oh Jesus, he's fast, alright, let me heal up here. So the, all these dudes, I believe, are just bounty, not bounty hunters, treasure hunters. Alright, well, what did this guy have on him? Some gold? Alright. What about you? Cyrus! Alright, well, we're doing st study progress. This is the second part, right? Yes, this is the second part. And I believe, from what I remember, from what I remember in this in this uh, dungeon, it's actually like a little half hard to get to the right place. And I'll tell you why that is. This little rock formation leads you up to the Dwemer puzzle box, right? I didn't think this this is a as a place of going up, right? It just looks like random rocks, right? But you need to get up here. That's why people lose track of this dungeon. Ugh. Horrible memories. All right. Anyway, let's rest up a little bit before we venture forth and stab things to death. Hey, dude. Let's see what you're made of. Ah! Out of my head! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love that stab animation. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? Oh, that's because my, my, my sword here is a spark sword, which gives uh, one to four shock damage per hit. And look at this guy. He has... That's what I was talking about earlier. I don't like to lockpick in this game. I just get spells and scrolls to do it for me. Uh, so open 40 to 60 points per untouch. Love doing this stuff, and I couldn't care that much about the lockpicking. But uh, yeah, we're obviously raiding this place for... Gold! Alright, pictures. Actually, this is quite valuable. Stealing, like, grandma stuff from a Dwever civilization. Alright, now let's see here. There's the puzzle box! There it is. Take my journal here. I found the Dwever puzzle box. Hasfold anti bolus told me to find it. Now I'll take it to him, and in return, he'll tell me what I need to know about the Nevering cult. Alright. But who's the Nairin? So it's like Margarine. Yeah. Alright, hey, wait a minute. Uh, was there something I missed here? Uh, I think I'm pretty good. I think there's a chest somewhere in this dungeon. It's so sad that less than 1% of these viewers never played through Morrowind. Well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll flip your argument and say, how great is it, isn't it that I'm showing it to people, you know? You gotta think like an optimist, you can't think pessimistically, you know? Sometimes, sometimes people need to... ...have an easier way of... Uh, ...not deciphering stuff, but they need to have something to, like, tell them what's going on. Um... Like, for Dwarf Fortress, for example, it can be quite abrasive, and this game can be... It hasn't aged 100%. I think it has. You know, I love this game, but... You know, if I can provide... A little bit of a guiding voice to get get people into this game, then I, you know... As a Marwin fan, I... I can think of no less greater thing, you know. But... That's just me, and I'm a dumbass. I'm monkey. Uh... I was thinking that... Wasn't there, like, a chest or something I could open up? Uh, nah, I think that's it. Hey, 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 I'm talking shit. I'm talking shite. Actually, I'm doing this in the wrong way, right? If I just open this up with, with a magic spell like this. Well, a fucking genius. Look at that. A dwarven fucking claymore. Look at this. 
How good is it? Uh, 33. Well, unfortunately, it does not have electricity charge, which... Oh, do I have a coin? I'll get this. I still need to get this, and... How does it look? Fuck. Look at this! This thing will f stab your family twice. Look at that fucking thing, huh? That's amazing. Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna rock and roll with this thing for a while. And even though I have block with, with sword here... Hey, look at that. I can go to the blood gallery. Hey, let's go to the blood gallery, y'all. Um, where is it? There it is. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yoo-hoo! Who is it? I'll come back here. Ah, 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 I'm trapped! It's coming! Oh no. They put a uh, over endurance but oh no. Oh, oh, oh my god! By the way, if you're ever curious what the dwarves look like in this game, that's what they look like. They aren't short. They are basically elves. I know, it's blasphemy. But that's what they look like. And it's a fucking ghost! Ah. I just want to fight these dudes. But they got giant beards. Alright. I'm gonna watch out for my fatigue here. Are, are they dead or did they just fuck themselves? Now, uh... I, I, uh, now, here's just me playing this, and I will say this. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they're ghosts in this game. Like, they're, they're not supposed to be ghosts. Maybe these few individuals died before they, um, uh, fucked themselves out of existence. So they're just kind of around. I, that's, that's it. I, I just explained it for myself. Holy shit. Okay, um, but for the, all the, the dwarves, or dwemer, sorry, that were around when it happened, they just out of existence. So I guess these dudes were working in this dungeon when they died and they remained spirits. But uh, for all the other ones, they just completely went out of here. Alright. Ooh, a bracer. Okay. I'll get this too. By the way, I went into this dungeon a little ha well, this area of the game a little jokingly. Like, I... I like, I, I went in like, haha, I better escape, and now I'm actually playing it, so I should have quick saved and, you know, but whatever. Alright, a dwarven halberd. Oh, this could sell for a lot, but I don't have the fucking... <sighs> you know what I could do? Is that really funny thing? You see how this is over encumbering me, right? I'm like, oh, it's so heavy! <laughs> That's how I would solve this, right? Get ready for this. We drag it across the floor, all the way, all the way into the shop. Give it out of the floor. All right, come here. Uh, oh, oh god, it's so heavy. Uh. <laughs> no, we're not fucking doing that. We're not doing that. All right, I'm just gonna clean out a little bit of this dungeon here, and then we're gonna move on to asphalt. I could drop the cog, actually, but it's fine. Okay. Better watch out here. I'm gonna pop a... Well, actually, let me just get ahead and see what else here. Um... Hey, dude. I don't think so. Come here. I think this is funny as shit. Imagine being some, some, uh, well, actually, if I think about it, um, the Dwemer disappeared a thousand years ago in, in Morrowind lore. I forget exactly, but let's just say that he's a thousand years old, right? C could you imagine? Could you imagine you're just sitting there and protecting all your ancient coins and suddenly this crack it comes and goes at you. And that's how you disappear into ghost hell. Just like this. 
<laughs> okay. And anyway, we need to check the ghost ashes here too, so they drop some pretty cool stuff. Like ectoplasm! We all like ectoplasm. How diverse diverse are Morrowind's weapons as, as compared to Oblivion? Um they they offer a little bit more uh speciality to them, I would say. There's there's more swords and stuff. Well, okay, uh, no, no, I'm talking shite. Um, there's more... Um, I, well, Oblivion has a chair of weapons too, but they're about the same, really. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's too much in Morrowind, but I think it just... It's outscales it a little bit. Alright, but there are throwable... Throw, throwable weapons in Morrowind, which Oblivion lacks. There's literally shurikens and ninja stars. I believe spears was also made in Oblivion, and uh, yeah, um, there's there's some stuff missing in Oblivion, but uh, through durable. Okay, well let me clear out the dungeon here. This goes here. Okay. I usually never venture this 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 deep into this dungeon. I usually just head back to Hasfold immediately when I do it, but sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Now this goes deep, huh? I never know how the space to Oh is that clear glass? Raw glass! Yes indeed. Oh, I'll take this too, but now I'm kind of you know what? I'm gonna have to drop some shit. These pants? Sorry, I don't need these pants. Shoes? Sorry. We had... We replaced one of my bracers with a Dwemer, Dwemer bracelet, and that is quite heavy. And I let go of my bone mold, because bone mold is medium armor, which I don't need anymore. Because um, I specialize in heavy armor. You know, looking back on it, I really should have maybe perhaps gone with a red guard instead of a Nord. Because, again, red guard's traits are more better for this, but... Eh, whatever. I guess I, I always play the Nords because I'm a dumb Nord myself. Uh, and you know what? You know what? I don't need this. I'm gonna go shirtless for the entire playthrough. All right. Could you maybe increase the gamma a bit? It's a very, it's very dark and difficult to see small objects. Well, I could do this, but the problem is I kind of, I see the game really well. And, uh, one guy, uh... Tell you what, I'll, I'll upload it later on YouTube with a fix. <laughs> Don't change it, alright. I will rest a little bit here before we go on. Okay. Can't see shit. Well, how about you fix it? How about you turn your brightness up, huh? I ain't gonna wipe your ass! <laughs> I'll probably fix it in post, I guess, on YouTube. But it's it's gonna it's gonna be really irritating for me if I find out that it looked fine and then I ruin it by increasing the brightness. So, listen, I'll I'll see what I can do later. But okay, well, here we go. Ectoplasm, the ghost. Damn, this goes real deep, huh? Jesus. I kind of want to go back already, but uh, I guess not. We are venturing into the uh, the whole dungeon of this thing. It's just it's just a problem because I have so much loot with me that I want to sell. But uh, I feel like if I turn back now, I'm uh, I'm tell you what, tell you what, we're gonna come back here. We will come back here. I just really want to get this quest done. All right. Alright. Uh, why is Joel talking over a dark screen? <laughs> Alright. Back up the truck. Yeah. We're gonna head back. We're gonna get this cube. Get me cube! Anyway. Have you ever seen uh, Todd Howard's... Uh, Todd, I don't know how old Todd Howard was when he made this game, but... It's like baby Todd Howard in front of some Morrowind concept art. It, it's the cutest picture. I, I go into hysterics when I see it. It was 30. Well, it wasn't like that, that young, but... 
but it is pretty damn funny. All right, now that I have one of the uh, open spells that I got earlier, hopefully this is enough. It is. Ebony and this, okay. Kegs. Again, I don't, I don't fuck too much with the lockpicks in this game. Uh, ooh, more diamonds. Damn, I'm fucking rich now. I guess that's why the, uh, the treasure hunters were here before. They wanted some of that sick loot. Alright, well, anyway. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, because we got plenty of stuff from this, this adventuring. The loot. And we're gonna go back, give Hasfalt his share. Or not share, but the Dwemer puzzle box, rather. And then we're gonna go back, and then we're gonna get some... So stuff done with chaos, and we're gonna see what this Nervarine thing is all about. Hmm, but what could it be? I don't know, I guess we just have to play the game to find out. <laughs> did I just touch this door and I knew it was trapped and I did it anyway? Jesus Christ, it's like ho touching a hot stove. I'm like a little child. Wow, it's burning! Okay, we're done with this quest anyway. Tucci. Anyway, so some people have complained about Morrowind lacking dungeon music, but I, I never found a problem with that. And I'm sure there's mods you can do anyway. But man, I, I love the sword we got. Unfortunately, my block skill, you know, I have a lot of block, so I'm a little, a little more partial towards one-handed stuff. You know, but, yeah. So be it. So be it. I will say this, I, I, I love how Morrowind looks. From the Ash Mountains, you know, to the east of this game with the mushrooms. It's a, it's a very varied looking game. You know, the, the, the environment, well, besides if you're running around an Ash Mountain, then... They're gonna a lot, a lot of different colors and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a real nice looking game, you know. Anyway, now we're heading back. Now there's a little imperial fortification, fortification castle. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, over there, and we'll be actually going there later for a quest. But for now, we're heading back to Balmora in this foggy, nice day. You see how this game looks with with uh, a really like you can remove a comp oh jeez it's real foggy it's spooky um, if you remove everything uh, all the view distance this game looks incredible uh, from a far away distance you see all little aisles and stuff like that the mountains and it's a really like well shaped world uh, it's so it's ugh. okay remove the birds. Uh, Okay, well, we're, we're basically rich now, because look at all the stuff we have. In fact, you know what? I'm going to talk to the kitty cat earlier that, that tried to sell us band weapons. You know, little Mr. Meow Meow cocaine addict. You want something? <laughs> all right, sure. He doesn't like me very much, but whatever. I'm just going to pawn this stuff off to him. Ebony. We got some rubies, some glass. Uh, I can have... This goblet that I found, and have these cogs, have all these coins, have all of them, in fact. And oh man, I've actually, I'm so. <laughs> he doesn't have enough gold for this, so you know, I'm gonna take back these, take back these, and I'm gonna sell them to. You know what? Th I deserve 385 for this, alright? Thanks. Oh, you don't like me because I, I, I said, sell me this, sell me this. No, no, sell me. Okay. Hey, you want some ectoplasm? Actually, this ectoplasm isn't that valuable, but it is effective for creating good potions. So. All right, let's see here. Uh, sell him this diamond. Uh, how about we sell him... Why do I have this goblet? Uh, soul gem I could maybe use, but... Uh, that's pretty much it. You know what? I can sell him... Let's sell him a couple of coins here. And then push it back to 300. Alright, and then we're gonna tell them... Sell me, sell me, sell... Oh, and there, there we go. Alright. Thanks, buddy. Look at this little... Nipple... Tassels on his head. 
Okay, anyway, let's head back to Hasphalt here. It's Bob C. <laughs> Alright. Ah, shut up, y'all! Bob C. Alright, let's talk to uh, Hasphalt. This. I wasn't that off. I was not that off with my voice acting, in fact. But anyway, let's do this. I, I hate when you talk to Marwin NPCs and they close their eyes. It's it's like it, OCD maximum. I'm like, open your goddamn eyes or else they look sleepy, you know. Anyway. So, have you done a little favor, I asked? Perfect. Just what I was looking for. So let me take this to my puzzle box and then I'll tell you what Caius will not want to know about the sixth house. And about the Neverine. The margarine. <laughs> By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be di directions for setting out where my key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you have delivered your report to Kyrus, come back and maybe you'll have a key you can take back to the island. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. All right. What about this vampire? What's so important about it? Yes, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for setting up a. Okay, well that's that's key. But what's about the sixth house thing? House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. In the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other houses during the war of the first council and was destroyed for their reason or treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll give you one of the notes, give the case, and recommend something. Oh, uh, neat. But what's, what's this Nervarine? The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerval will unite the Dunmer against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. Nerval is a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe the Nervarine. Till Kaius that Shard and Grom Musgob would be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. Wow, but who could this person be? I wonder. Hmm. Here's a list of ch cheap books. All of them will tell you something about the Sixth House and how it ended. The War of the First Council, St. Nerevar, Nevera Moon and Star, and the Real Nerevar. Try the books of Dorisa Dravel in the other commercial district. She'll have it send some of these titles. Okay, we're good. Now we know that apparently there's another house in this political Isle of Morrowind. And well it seems that this Sixth House was destroyed for treason. And there's something about Nerevar. Hmm, it's a lot of interesting stuff. Me oh my. But for now, we're gonna head back to Caius. Alright. Check back on our journal here. The sixth house, uh, the lost. In the first stage, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses in the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, let's head back to Chaos. By the way, someone's cutting fucking steel. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Hang on, wait. At fucking midnight, past midnight. What the hell are you doing? This late. <laughs> okay. It's the killer. The driller killer. Okay, before we before we go here, I'm gonna put down some of my trash, <laughs> as I always do in this. Uh, I'm gonna put, okay. Well, y I'm glad you haven't eaten my eggs yet. Okay, I'm gonna put some ectoplasm down here. Gooey, lots of goo here. Uh. I guess I'm gonna... I'll keep the flint for now, but... Anything else that I probably don't need. Uh, cure Poison Potion? Now I'm gonna put this down. Uh, Dwarmer Coins? Actually, I'll put this back. It's not that heavy. But I will put this spoon down that I have for some damn reason. And while I'm at it, why don't we armor up our stuff? Alright, cool. Let me just do that. Let's make my PC. Well, guess what, dumbass? I got your stuff. All right, I'm here to discuss the orders. So, you say Hasfeld Antibolus give you notes to give me, but you don't actually have the notes. Perhaps I have hesitated to suggest it. You might go get these notes and bring them. Why don't you pick it up the floor yourself, dumbass? 
<coughs> Sorry, I, I didn't read what it was there. <sighs> anyway, House Dagoth is an extinct great house. In the wake of the ancient battle of Red Mountain, its leadership was revealed to have plotted treason and was discredited. Many of House Dagoth died defending the house. Those survivors who were faithful to the Great Council were dis redistributed amongst the other houses. The temple says the ancient legendary evil beings that dwell beneath Red Mountain in the Dagoth Ur region are the original leaders of this extinct house, sustained by some powerful evil sorceries. <sighs> other references. These books include references on the sixth house, blah, 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 blah. It's going to be a lot of reading in the stream, so if, if, if that's not your cup of tea, then uh, I'm sure you can... Uh, Put on some, uh, some uh, what do you call it? Uh, what are those videos called again? Ah yes, strobe effect videos. <laughs> anyway, the war, the first council, Saint Nervor, Nervor, Moon and Star. Anyway, let's get cast this thing. Here you go, friend. The no these notes are for Hasfold and Tobolus. Excellent. I trust you didn't work you too hard for them. I'll. I'll look them over in more detail later, but now I have some orders for you, okay? Of glance at Hasfall and Tuttable anti bullshit notes, they cover the Sixth House admirably, but not in the Evering Cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild, it's right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. Get Sharon Grabman's Club to tell you what she knows about the Nevering. She has some silly errand for you. She'll have some silly errand for you! Listen, I don't care that you're shirtless and you, you're a crack smoking uh, pillow addict. Listen, don't get too self-aware, right? With those fuck me eyes. Do what she asks and report back when she's given the information. All right, Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Let's uh, head on out here. Man, it is foggy today. You know what? T tell you what, before we venture forth, let's get some sleep because uh, murdering five people sure gets me sweepy. Wow! Head back in. Go ahead. Yes. All right. Thanks. You had a disturbing dream. You can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led you among the dead as through a wedding celebration. You heard many voices, but no lips moved. You strained to breathe, but your chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking, if they were alive. But they made no reply. You tried to cry out, but without breath, your tongue fluttered in vain. Kai, is that a nightmare? Whoa, 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 whoa. You, you're worrying me, Cobb Sal. You're, you're not going loopy on me, are you? A word of advice. In Morrowind, if you have disturbing dreams, the temple says you're crazy and they want to lock you up. And if you have disturbing dreams you think they m and they think they mean something, then the temple thinks you're a prophet or a witch. And they want to lock you up. So take my advice, so keep a lid on it. Well... Well, still, still, still is foggy outside? Let me just... Jesus, it is foggy today. There we go. Alright. Anyway, let's head on to the Fighters Guild here. Here's the witch! Hmm. Let's just say that these, these dreams are not just crazy nightmares, but they are of something. Anyway, let's head on to the uh, the Mages Guild here. I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Hey, Galabir, Galabir, just the person I want to talk to. Guess what? This... This Dwarven Claymore that we got, I think that if I had a soul gem, we could turn this thing into a giant, you know, Dwarven murder blade. But, you know, we don't have a soul gem on us. But I believe we could buy one, in fact. Uh, we can buy a petty soul gem from a, that consists of a skeleton warrior inside of it. Could be something, huh? Uh, and... Again, with how this game works with enchanting stuff, you need to know the spell beforehand. So if, if I really feel like it, let's say I buy... Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, this uh, this frost damage, perhaps. Let's say I have this frost frost damage. Let's just theoretically say this is a spell. I can turn my Dwarven Claymore into a frost blade, which is pretty cool. I like using a lot of enhanced weapons in this game. Uh, Anyway, let's see here. Now, we're going to talk to... There she is. There's Mozgob. 
No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh, you're one of Caius's associates? That's an orc voice, by the way. That is a different matter. Caius and I have very satisfactory arrangements, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. If it comes a little errand for me. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Ladrado. You'll find it in the Adrado ancestral tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some particular prati- primitive prejudices against necromancy, and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. But where is it? You call that an orc voice? Okay, well, I'll give you a fucking female orc voice. Speak quickly. Now that's a voice. And well, let's see here. Uh, south of Pelgiad. So we're gonna head on over there. That's just Joel. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head to Pelagia. Do I have Pelagia on the map? I think I did that last stream. Uh, uh, I always forget with these all these places. I think Pelagia is there. It is. I could actually run there. Let's see here. Uh, tell you what. Let you know what. Let's do that real quick. I, I'm sure there's an easier way of doing that, but let, let's let's go there. Let's go on an adventure. I walk when you can ride. Anyway, uh, Pelagat has no fast travel option, actually. Oh, really? I thought it could, but all right. Uh, but hey, walking gives us a uh, reason to adore this beautiful scenery. Uh, why ride when you can walk? Have you heard of the new Daggerfall remake? I know that somebody was making that in Unity. But I wasn't aware that there was more. All right. Well, look how beautiful it's ash. It's dead trees. It's it's gorgeous. Okay. I said this last stream, but if you're new to this, uh, we got a pair of boots last stream that is pretty peculiar, because again, these boots are called the boots of blinding speed. Now, uh. Watch how fast I go. <laughs> well, uh, it, they're quite literally blinding. But here's the thing. I, I, I keep comparing these boots to that they're jokes. Like joke boots. But uh, you can't counteract the magic effect here. There's a little bit of a trick to this. Now, basically, before you put these on, let's say you make a spell that would counteract any magic that was is being done to you, i.e. a curse, which, again, these these boots are cursed. If you activate this spell for a second, really powerful spell for just a second, and you slip on the boots immediately, guess what? Boots have no effect, and you can run like Sonic. And we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be doing that. And in fact, I think Muskrob here actually sells spells that has this counter... counter... Ability. At least saddle here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. You know what? You know what? You know what? Fine! Fine! So be it! <laughs> Thrilling. All right, but well, there we go. You want some too? Nah, you you better stay away. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, anyway, let's let's head on over to Palgia. All right. Escape the little mountain here. And it's right there. And it's south of Pelgiad, so... Yeah. 
Cleaves are so fucking annoying. They, they do zero damage and take four hours to gameplay. Yeah, they, they, there's a lot of cliff races in this game, but uh, you just kind of you learn to rock and roll with them. Oh, hey! But they are annoying, especially when they they stagger you and they they uh, there's a lot of them on screen at the same time. How does the day greet you, friend? Cold nipply. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Why well, is a bandit nearby? Yes, I was just walking alone here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped out from me behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my, my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked me to whoever he seems like forever. Your jewels. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was so charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Lil Zorna. A name that will stay on my lips for an eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing you could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in res return, but could you please blah, 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 blah? Guys, question time. I will try to find this man, if only for love's sake, or I have no time for your foolish games, girl. What should we do? Burn the witch! Do it. Okay, let's do it. You'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having a head north. So I he might be found in the Pelias, please. Blah, 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 blah. He's talking about trailer. Wow, I got a, I left, I got a glove out of this. Glove. Hey, I, how easy would you be to kill? I'm just theoretically asking. Dressing as well. I know I'm stinky, but please. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> I could be the dashing bandit. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's head to Palgiad. Uh, who the fuck is cutting up steel at fucking past midnight? What's going on? Oh, all right. Well, anyway, there's someone outside my window, like cutting up steel. <coughs> like, what the hell? <sighs> Open your window and ask him. <laughs> hey, what you doing? I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'm sorry. I asked. Ah, here's Palgiad. Jesus, it's almost midnight. Uh, no, it is midnight. I'm saying it's 1 a.m. Hey, it's... It's Junali. I don't know you. What do you want? Uh, do you know any rumors? I heard there has been some trouble at Fort Frostmoth. Never heard of it. It's on an island called Solstheim. What? Solstheim? That's the frozen island up to the north, right? Sounds awful to me. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He knows what's up. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. He know he knows what's up. He knows what's up. Okay. <laughs> Joel, no. Okay. Anyway, now we're in Palgiad, and uh, from what I remember, she's mentioned something about. See, he is in Pelgia. What's his name? Uh, Nilos Onmar. Well, before we do a little bit of a... Uh, do the quest here, let's take a little little detour and... Uh, what say you? I said, you, you know you can't legally change your name. I'm gonna call you Steven. Alright, because... Nord to Nord? You're born with bad parents. Hey, there he is. Anyway, wait, hang on before we see. What's this guy? I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagother calls you Cobb Salad, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Whoa, what? 
Tagothur. He is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams. We shall sleep, sweep our lands and clean of the... Why have you denied him? As Lord Aga said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. The sixth house? The sixth house. The sleeping house. House Dagoth. The house of Lord Dagoth. The true house. The one house to welcome all true Dunma and drive the from our land. Take heed, Outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place. For when the Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. So it's time. A miserable place from what I heard. Too cold for me. <laughs> well, and I understand that something cool can take you to folks in there. Do you want something? <clears throat> I love when you ask about like expansion pack stuff and suddenly tonal shift immediately. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. All right, well. So obviously there are sleepers waking up in this turmoil of this island because I'm investigating and things are happening. That's if you play as Dunmer, do you get different dialogue? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, it doesn't. It, it's not like an outlander doesn't matter if you're a dark elf or not. Anyone who was born outside Morrowind are seen as like, ugh, you know. Uh, but anyway, let's go take a look at this guy. Can head to the trader real quick. Yeah. I shouldn't have pushed so hard. Damn, dude, you fucking wear a helmet, a hat, or something. What's this then? <laughs> All right. Um. Ooh, stuff. Fire blade. When did I get a fire blade? Has this always been in my inventory? Ah, uh, sure, I'll keep it around. I guess it was in my inventory. <laughs> I didn't see it earlier. All right. Anyway, do you have anything of value for me? Amulet, skirt, uh, cohere, uh, nah, not really. You want some coins, though? Tell what, crank this price up a little bit. Donut here. Tell what, we're gonna sell this for 352. There we go. Hey, look at this. Already we have 1,600 gold. It's not bad. I wonder where this 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 guy could be, huh? Expensive skirt, ten gold. <laughs> yeah, but come on. All right, he refused to offer. No, no, he initially did that, but he actually he caved in and said, "Ah, oh, fine, you know." Hey, it's Yakum Hershey Bob. All right, Giddy. Hey, look who it is! Look who it is! Welcome, Outlander. What brings you to Pelgiad? Can I help you find a specific place? Well, guess what? You're that guy. I am Nilos. What do you want? Mm, ah, here we go. You have what? How odd. She was a lovely young woman. What she want to do with a rogue like me? She's beautiful though, and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing someone. I should see her again. Here, take this. Tell her what you have a note from Nilos. I must see her again. I won't forget this friend. I'm not. I'm not Batman. I'm simply doing a really bad dark elf voice. Please. Where were the other drugs going? Okay. <laughs> hey, you got in beds? Have one available for ten gold for the rest of the. You know what? Yeah, sure. I'll I'll, I'll pay for a bed. Ooh, spider. Strange. Let's get this over with quickly. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this either, right? <sighs> Sleepy time. <laughs> Alright, anyway, let's get out of here. 
Hey, wait a minute. I thought I slept for way longer. Sorry. I had a little bit of... I go downstairs to pee. Okay. Anyway, I'll sleep until the morning. What graphic extender am I using? Uh, I believe I am using... Shit, I don't know what graphical extender I'm using, but it, it, it's some. It basically allows the game to be in 16.9. And it allows it to be... A, the, the draw this is a little further away, so... Okay, uh... Let's see here. Now that we're done with this, we're gonna be looking for... Actually... Bah, bah, wait a minute. I spoke with one who called himself a sleeper. He called me by name and said, You cannot deny your lord, Dagoth Ur. The six stars is risen in Dagoth Ur. He made no sense at all. I think he must have been mad. Yeah, I'm sure. Anyway, I've agreed to find him. Blah, blah, blah. Why is it a track down the Nilos? Here we go. Yeah, that's not the one we're doing. Uh, here we go. Sean Grammas Gob says that Andreno Ancestral Tomb is south of Pelgiat, just off the road, just before the fork where the road goes southwest towards Seranin and southeast to Vivek. She gave me an enchanted blade. Oh, she, oh no, I totally missed it. She gave me the blade, that's why, and some scrolls, because she says some spirits are immune to normal weapons. That's right, we're gonna be fucking up ghosts tonight. Well, there are no quest markers in this game. You have to find it yourself. So here we go. Follow the yellow big road. Okay, we actually gotta follow the road here, but hang on. Are you ready to ghost boost? Are you ready to nut? Okay, well, anyway, I don't wanna mess with that. That is not the ancestral tomb, by the way. From what I believe. But, but can I always check it out? It might actually be. Hang on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it? Motherfucker. Okay, well. Alright, so here, here, here. Now that we're, we're going ghost busting, literally. Oh, man. Dead booty. Actually, put, put, the, put the pants on again. If you use an MGXZ, you can make the UI bigger. Well, I mean like that. Woo, woo, woo. Because I, I think that's... I think what's it maybe meant. Let's try and ascend Veloth. So this is place is a little holy, huh? Hmm. Do I want to open this door? No. Oh, Jesus. All right, here we fucking go. Oh, ghost! So I'm using Dwarven weapons. I can actually uh, hurt this ghost. Otherwise, I can't. So it's actually a really good thing that we're using this weapon. I love how the ghosts look in this giant angry skeleton. Oh, jeez, I'm a skeleton. Oh, shit, I'm dead. Okay. I, lo I, lo I love these ske skeletons. They're... They're so goofy. Oh, Jesus. He heard me talk shit. Oh, fuck, this guy hurts. Enhanced arrows, Jesus. Good thing we packed all these potions with us. Ah! A little bit of fatigue. Fatigue. Would Cobb Sal join any house in this playthrough? Uh, the only. What, what, what's that one house that's like. It's violent as shit and there's no real loss besides like. If somebody owns something and you want it and you challenge it or you kill them over it and they. And you kill them, you deserve their stuff. And that's Talvani, okay. Yeah, uh, there, there's, a, there's a house or. Yeah, yeah, that's what you call them in this game. Basically saying. If you suck ass, you don't deserve ass. All right. <laughs> okay, let me let me do this. There we go. Anyway, let's see here. Let's get some bit of gold. Uh, choke weed. All right, anything in this aren't bone meal. 
that. I don't see what, the, what what this is a picture of. Is this a picture of uh, Molag Bal and Vivek, perhaps? Uh, just not a little bit of like weird story stuff here, but uh, that's a that's a that's a that's a fucked up story about it. I don't know if you guys know about this, but uh, can't see. Oh, okay, hang on. Let me. Well, can't see it. Okay, hang on. Too dark. See it now? <laughs> All turned up. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway, uh... Let me, I turned it back down again. Okay, anyway. This might not be that. This might, might be tr the tribunal, is it? Oh, yes, it is. Because, hey, look at that. Nope. Vic. Alright, uh, uh, yep, yep, yep. Not too many spoilers, but... Uh, back to the darkness. Anyway, the reason I brought up Molag Bal and Vivek is, uh, it's a real fucked up story that I'll tell you about that later. It's, uh, it's quite strange. And speaking of Vivek, here he is. You have gained knowledge from this book. Well, tell what, I'm gonna keep this book with me. I'll read you this at the end of the stream. Hey, what's this? This is Scroll of Elemental Burst Fire. Ooh, I'll take this right now. There we go. Now, you know what's so great about Morrowind that I love? A lot of art and video games mean nothing inside the game, if that makes any sense. There's a lot of, like... Just... I don't know what you want to say. It's, it's like... Art in the games for the sake of just... Not lore building, it's just that it looks nice. But in, in Morrowind, it's like all the all the paintings you see and all the books and stuff like that, it all means something, you know what I mean? I, I really like that. Because otherwise, it's just eye candy. Otherwise, uh, homilies of blessed. Well, that's one of the tribunal. Uh, so then the scribe, young, so the seal. So I'm going to take this book as well. I'm going to redo all this when we're done with the stream. But for now, I need to get. My thing. Uh, hang on. Uh, Aaron, here we go. Uh, I need to go s the skull. I need to find a skull. Okay, sorry, I forgot a little bit why I was here. Okay. I think I saw the skull in the previous room, wasn't it? Like the skull was right here. Ah, bop, 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 bop. Here it is. That is a goofy ass skull. Look at that. Hang on, let me let me take this skull off. That skull is having a good time. Look at look at him. Yeah, <laughs> he knows what's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's wrong with me? Okay. What's this? Dagger of judgment. Damage strength and damage endurance. Okay. Take that. Totally missed that. Yeah, he knows what's up. He knows what's up. Yeah. <laughs> can't see shit. Man, I don't know why you guys can't see it. I can see this perfectly fine. Anyway, let's get out of here. Did this. It's good for me. Well, I'll tell you what. If you guys can see anything, let, let me rectify that super quick. Yeah. Oh, shit, I don't have any torches with me. Fuck, I'm sorry. It's so dark, Joel. Really, it's that dark? Yeah. It's visible, people are memeing. Okay, thanks, Freya. I, I, I trust your judgment on it, too. Okay. Uh, can you guys see this? Let me turn out the brightness for you. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> no. Ah, the sun burns! Alright, it's back to Balmora. That was a quick quest than I thought. We might actually be able to uh, make that spell that I described earlier with the, uh, the resist magic uh, counteract spell to the uh, the boots' curse. Your monitor brightness is probably uh, what's being okay. So tell you what, tell you what. Um, perhaps my gamma is fucking this up. But if I turn, you guys don't see the gamma. When I do this right, it's like the same. 
for you. Right? Uh, meow. Yeah, no, okay. It doesn't change anything. Well, I might have to edit these streams and post them, like, add more practice. <laughs> but, yeah, it's bright enough. The people who see the mobiles are in the screens are dark. Okay, well, tell you what, I'll, I'll probably do something in post and see what I can do. Let me turn up the music ever so slightly. I think I finally hit a good sound mix volume on here. I'm sorry for all the fucking little this and that, you know. Anyway, it's foggy now. Heading back to Balmora. <laughs> I love the animation of this. This is a this is an era in video games where they didn't do any motion capture. They hand animated with keyframes, you know, like. Yes, yeah, a little janky and all that, but it God, it's it's so charming, you know. When you when you're doing stuff like this, it's ah, oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, you know. Hey, and now that we've done a little side quest with the uh, the dude, hey hey hey, lady. Well met. Greetings. Okay, I must find that bandit. I believe he's in Pelia. Well, guess what? Here we go. He gave you a letter to give to me? Wonderful! Thank you so! I know that he cared. You know, you didn't have to do all this for me, and I really appreciate it. You're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend, Emesu de Brazil Rune. He's a wonderful person, and I think the two of you would get along famously. Wow! Lady, this rat. Fucking rat. This is... I should have killed you sooner. What? What? No! 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 I saved you from the rat! No! God damn it! Oh God damn you! Cobb salad. Not long now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? Okay. Ah. <sighs> Jesus. Fucking. May I help you? Yes. Get rid of the rat, please. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> I, I love this animation. The the Cobb salad fight. Ah. Cobb Salad prances into battle. Into battle. Joel Kelgerma. Yeah, you bet. You bet. You all see me when I kill Germa on that vine wrestle? It's one, two, one, ba boom, ba boom. He didn't have a chance. He didn't have a chance. Mm hmm. I hate that guy. <laughs> Is this your first playthrough? No, 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 no. Um, I played more plenty of times, so it's just, you know. On stream, it is actually not even the second, first time I've done this before, but way back when we even started archiving streams and stuff like that, so, you know. I always feel a little guilty, like, running over mountains like this. It never feels, like, right, you know. Like, it feels like I'm half exploding the game by running over hills, but I don't think so. But whatever. <laughs> he exploded. Alright, but anyway, uh, let's see, I'm getting close to Balmora here. Boom! Ba boom! Alright, so now we've done this, we're gonna head over here. That's the Silt Strider. Whoop! Felt like I was doing a CSGO surfing. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, let's head back to Balmora here. Talk to Caius. We got a little bit more info on the uh, on the narrowing cult. We got a little bit on Dagoth Ur, and now sleepers are awakening. It's a lot of turmoil happening in the game. Anyway, before we do that, though, let's do here. Uh, here we go. I've agreed to me on the road. All right, now that we've done that. The favor's done for the orc, and she can tell us a little bit more about 
about everything. So let's head down here. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. You know how easy I can just like stab you into like tiny cat food giblets? Listen, I know I smell, but <sighs> anyway. Um... My patience is yes. <sighs> yes, I have the errand. I'm not doing this fucking voice for this character. The Sashlander cult believes that the long dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesied Nerevarin will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult. But it persists among the Ashlanders, who care little for imperial or temple law. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic of Caius. Or for Caius, sorry. All right. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, voice like Yoda. <laughs> you know what? Next time I see I work in the game, Yoda. Listen, Yoda. <laughs> there he is. Hey, 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 hey. What's your question? What's your background? I am Shagangu, Shagangu Commoner. You got any news uh, services? Good hello, look. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Hey, Kaius, I got some. I got the scoop. I got the scoop. <sighs> anyway. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. You know, I can, I, I can literally kill you so fast, you wouldn't even know what happened. It'd be like this. How can I help you? Okay, well, guys, I got some shitty news. Yes, all right. And these are Sharn's notes on the Nevering Cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Cobb Salad. Now give me some time to think about how this fits into the Emperor's plans for you. I'd like to see you at a higher level of, of conditioning before I send you out again. So take some time to polish your skills and enhance your cover story with a little freelance adventuring. Then, when you're at the level of performance I want to see, I'll have some new orders for you, and I might not ha I might have that right now. I'm, ready I'm not ready for you yet. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing some more quests. So we're having nightmares, hearing news about a secret house that was taken down for blasphemy. Heard a little bit about this, heard a little bit of that. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of questions that will get answered in time. Okay, well before we do that, before we do that, let us armor up our stuff here. There we go. And uh, actually, before we do that as well, let me put my book back. And uh, I'll have that read to you at the end of the stream. Say your needs. Great comment. Isn't this music from Skyrim? Damn, we got someone playing 5D backgammon in chat. <laughs> okay. And I mean, my, my, my little trash shot here is getting real crowded, but uh, I'm gonna put the books down. So the Vec book, and I got my Alexandra book right there. Actually, I should do this instead of put this down first, uh, and then on top of this like that. Okay, so we have a little bit of reading to do before we end the stream tonight, but we're not gonna end the stream just yet. I'm gonna keep on playing a little bit. All right. Uh, anyway. Speak, traveler. Traveler. What do you want? Ah, uh, now let's see here. Let's see. Here. We are going to go and do some fighter skill stuff because why not? If I have not done them all already, let's see here. Orders. I don't have any orders for anyone under the rank of protector. What can I advance already? Your talents are noteworthy, but some questions. Your, but some questions. Your depths of devotion. Perform some more duties at fighter skills and blah, blah, blah. Well, see here. The guild stewardess at Vivek City, Sadrith Moore, or Aldruin might have some work for you in the meantime. All right. So there's a little bit more stuff to do. Um. Anyway, what are the rules here again? Your duties are to rem 
you do this to your lords and brethren, and always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a key and watchful mind, and never succumb to the cra craven tricks of the weak. It is traitors to fight or thief from other members of a guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least one. All right. Anyway, uh, any fun, quick quests that we can do in the meantime? Uh, hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking of like something, something fun in the meantime. That's pretty good. Uh, hmm. Hey, you know what? While we're doing that, while we are doing that, everybody, let us do a little personal quest that's not on in the game. It is just a personal quest for me to do, which is let's break these boots of blinding speed. Let's fuck around with them. And in order for us to do this, we would need to actually talk to the orc we just talked to. Because we need a resist magic spell. And with the spell, we will be able to resist the magic just for a second. Which will allow us to go maximum speeds. Let's see here. Does she spell? Does she sell any spells that allows her to do this? Uh, let's see here. Song resist magicka. Here we go. Alright. Now that we have this little spell... This one right here. Let me put it on. Uh, put it on the ground here. Actually, that's not a scroll. She actually just told us how to do this spell, which is exactly what we need. All right. Now we're done with this. We are going to be doing some spell making. And uh, actually, we have a 17% chance of doing this, which we might need to save scum a little bit. But a. But I have a... Actually, hang on. If I make an... <sighs> I have an idea. I have an idea. Yo, Clagus! Clagus, listen, I have, a, I have a thing you should do, alright? Do you sell belts or amulets or shit like that? It sells roots, shoes, and uh, spoons. Okay, well, you. Listen, you are useless to me. Here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go somewhere else. We're not gonna go to a, a outfitter, we're gonna go to a regular clothes shop. I can probably hit, hit the trader, in fact. Has no time. Yeah, 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 whatever. Shut your, shut your ass. Okay, uh. Here we go. Let's get these uh, this expensive belt. Not paying that much for that. Thanks. All right. Now that we're done that, we're gonna go back into the Mages Guild and do this. If I can help, I will. But don't take too much time. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna enchant this. Oh fuck! I need to buy a soul gem first for the. Ah, let's just buy something cheap. <laughs> buy this rat thing. Okay, thanks. Oh, okay, thanks. Now that we've done this, see, I steal a gem behind her. She would literally turn me into like a a an amoeba within seconds if I fucked with her. All right, we're not gonna do that. Uh, anyway, so we have this belt that I just bought. Fuck, I already had a belt on me. Whatever. All right, and this belt for me. Let's see if I do this right. Duration will be... Well, actually, let's see here. Magnitude self. How much would it... This wouldn't really matter for a second, essentially. Resist magic of 4 to 6 per, on self. Um, I could do this. I could do this, but... What would be the advantage of, of using the belt version of this? Basically, I put my belt on, and I go... I think this needs to be at a hundred, wouldn't it? Right? Oh... Uh, that's how that works? It has to be a hundred, okay. And I don't have quite the money to do so yet, so tell you what, tell you what, uh... The, the, this boy right here... 
are gonna come back to this, and then we'll have an immunity thing. So in the meantime, we might have the same scum, but so so when we're at the ten thousand, we need to go back to Galdbeer, and we need to tell her to make hey make this make this supercharged belt, and uh, and I'm almost there, kind of. Five coin left. All right, well. Anyway, I probably could buy. A, you know what? I think it's cheaper to make a spell than it is to enchant a a item. You have something to say. To and I believe uh, Estelir Green can do this for me. So if I do this, do a self and hundred to a hundred for a second. Yes, yes, baby. Here we go. Okay, now, and this is gonna be called. Um, uh, blinding boots on. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Actually, uh, but, oof, sh sh slow down. Slow, I fucked that up. 20% chance of casting this? No, okay, uh, whatever. So be it. So be it. So be it. Now, I can get my luck up a little bit here, but, uh... This is gonna suck ass, but I hope it'll work. It's gonna be awkward, because I might have to sleep in the streets here. It's gonna be funny as... If anybody wants to illustrate how this would look. Essentially, I'm trying to cast this, and I, immediately I'd, I would fall asleep. Like, Ugh! Blah, blah. Tell you what, we're gonna do it at Caius's place. We're gonna do it at Caius's place. We're gonna ha crash over to my place, and I'm gonna basically cast a spell, go back to sleep, and I'm gonna have a migraine doing it. So, hang on. <laughs> this is gonna be so stupid. You'll, you'll see what I mean here. Basically, I think I need more restoration for this 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 spell to uh, be working better, but. Yeah, and I believe my fatigue being so low right now. If I can stand around here, it goes up. So, um, fatigue ca factors into the uh, success rate of actually casting spells in this. But, all right, here we go. So, first try. Okay. And then I, we need to go to bed. Okay, I'm ready. Go to bed. <laughs> okay, go to bed. <laughs> Sleepy. Okay, we have a 20% chance to do this. Okay. Okay, hopefully I can do it now. Shit, okay. 10 more tries. Nope. Okay. The guy watched me like, what the fuck are you doing? It's like, I cast a spell, back into bed, wow, sleepy. I wake up again. Okay, let's try again. Oh, okay. Okay, now that I have that on, look. And now, I am the fucking master! <laughs> yes! Yes! Nothing stops me now, baby! <laughs> God, I love fucking Morrowind. I am a god! Oh shit, there comes Cobb Salad. Okay. Well, uh, unfortunately, this this not this doesn't break the game, but it certainly uh, makes everything go by a lot quicker. So, uh, shit. I'm just like, oh Jesus, there it goes. Okay. Well, we, we basically uh, it's done this already, but uh, yeah, basically in this game you can do tons of fun stuff like this if you have. Alchemy, you have spell making. You can fuck up this game in a lot of ways. And I love that. I love if you have the time, if you have the, the ingenuity, you could do all this crazy shit. Uh, you can also like basically remove fall damage in this game. You can fly around as much as you want. Uh, and my god, I am going real fast. I'm going real fast. Okay, um, Marwin is five years on Steam. Do I get it? Well, if you enjoy watching the streams, I, I suggest you might you might play it and have a fun time too. 
Hey, while we're at it, let's uh, let's hit up the uh, the orc place. What's this about? I don't know, me going fast. Is it here? Uh, where is this place again? It's here, right? Gorak Manor. Hey, here we go. Hey, how you doing, scamp? <laughs> How can I not do a Yoda voice with this guy? Hello, Caldera. I'm here all week. Hey, speak, speaking of speaking of nothing, I gotta show you something real quick. I found this video called Yoda's CBT Adventure, and it is the worst video I've ever seen. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna let you hear it. Huh. Crush my cock with a rock, I must. Maximum pain, I must endure. Okay. Here we go. I like I like how Morrowind's music, Jeremy Sauce music just slid into that. <laughs> I'm here all week. Okay, anyway, uh let's get maximum value out of these coins. So for a little bit more. The soul gem that I bought, totally useless. Uh let us sell him. Yeah, this belt is useless. Oh, you want to buy it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep these boots, though. Common Deceased. Ash or whatever. Oh, you want to buy it? Okay. So, well, let's push this up to 360. Come on. Come on. Okay, how about 350, then? Thank you. Please come again. Okay, well, there we go. Let's get the fuck out of here. Look at me go. Look at me go. Ah! Nothing will stop me now. Hey, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> there you go. Okay, no cliff racer will get me now. Okay, unfortunately though, I feel this is a... Uh, little way cheating like it it like yes i didn't use constant commands and i used totally legitimate ways of achieving these kind of boots but i feel we should maybe not have them on because kind of kills it a little bit i mean no, not really but I, I say maybe more late end game we can the game fucking crash you know what these boots stay on okay these boots stay on because of that Bastard. Bastard. Goddamn bastard. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Hey, even walking is like fast. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, something is behind me and it's going to kill me, but I'll pretend like it's not walk. Wow. Well, he's not going to lay eggs in my eye sockets. No, no. Oh, God. He's coming. But let's ignore him. Ha, la, 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 la. Okay. Anyway, I'll see some quests here tonight. Uh, we've done a couple for the Fighters Guild, but let's... Let's do some for... Uh, well, aldruin has got some. Vivek City has some. Uh, what's other places had some? Uh, Caldera, Aldruin. Hmm, you know what? Let's let's uh, head on over to Aldruin, in fact. Yeah, my microphone is pissing me off. Look at that, we can scale the mountains now. We can we can do the Todd meme. Hey, I just leveled up, in fact. In fact, I think me just running around like an idiot actually got us a level. <laughs> okay. Well, this goes to show. All right. You have ruined my sleep. All right, level three. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to need some agility. Agility is important. I would like a little bit of... Uh, we don't need more speed. We never need more speed now. Perhaps a little more strength and... Uh, I think... Endurance were pretty good. I fix your starting health, your health gain per level, and your maximum fatigue. Absolutely. There we go. Alright. Now, I'm not sure what Kaius's level requirements for the next level would be, but I'm going to try anyway. 
go more faster. You know, you know, guys, just because I have these boots on is not the maximum speed limit in this game. I can go even faster if I want. All right. For example, with us having the uh, Ikarian Flight spell that we got earlier, I could essentially block that falling speed as well. And we could have a character that is running faster than light and jumping faster than anything else. Anyway, ahead. hey, beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps. When he wakes, we all shall rise, and the dust will blow away. Serve your Lord, Dagothur. The Six South has risen, and Dagoth is his glory. Oh. Oh no, they're all waking up. They're all... Oh man. Is that the 200k jump? No. I will be doing it. Any I'll be happy to help. Anyway. Hey, orders. Hey, look at that! Me running around actually leveled me up. I was gonna do some fighter skill stuff in Vex City or all the room, but I guess this works too. Anyway. <clears throat> I thought it over, and I want you to interview these three informants in the Vex City. Hey, I was going there anyway, dumbass, but anyway... Concerning the Neverine and the Six South, first, I want you to speak with Adenaird, a Khajiit and the Thief Skills operative. Second, I want you to speak with Heluya, an Ar Argonian and the Morag Tong. Finally, I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a Temple Priestess. Here, I've written the details down, so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. But goddamn! Thank you so much, dude! Maybe you touching my eggs. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, we're gonna head on to Vivek City, which is uh, not my favorite city in this. This is my favorite city. I, I always found Vivek City, like, it's ginormousness detrimental to me finding anything in the game. Like, I feel Vivek City is... It's too fucking big. I get it. I get why it is so big, but it is like a maze, you know? It's you so troublesome at times. But, let's head there anyway. Why walk? Can ride. My god. Well, I'll tell you what, these boots are gonna make this a hell of a lot easier to do. Oh, 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 oh. Before we do anything, I will say this. There is an easier way to navigate Vivek City, and that is to take these boats. By the way, as a little quick side note, I'm gonna show you what, what I look like in this hat. My hat. <laughs> look at me, look at me. I want this hat, damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it. <laughs> Samurai Cobb. Fuck, I want this thing. <laughs> damn it. My hat now. Keep it. Well, I just murdered somebody, alright? Listen, I, I can't live with that fact. All right. Well, we'll we'll buy one legitimately. All right. Listen, I can just buy one. I all right. We need to murder everything. All right. I'm playing as Joshimitsu. Anyway, uh, so we're going on this mission at a talk with these 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 different uh, people, and uh, again, we're trying to get the scoop on the Neverin cult. Anyway, uh, Kaya sent me to Vivek City with three tasks: speak with the Admir, a Khajiit thief skill operative in the Saint Alms, speak with Hilia, and Erin in the foreign quarter, and at the Black Shell Corner Club. And speak with Mara about the three embraces. Okay, well, first of all, we need to see that we are in the right one. And we are, in fact... Hey, unrelated, you can actually add little notes here. So if I want to add this and say, uh... Pee-pee-poo-poo. -poo, then I'll know from the map and be like, Oh, there's pee-pee-poo-poo right there. So, sometimes in this game... That's why I love Morrowind. You really have to, like, sit down with pen and paper and do it yourself. I.e., read the journals. Read the directions, where to go, and be like, oh, there's the pee-pee-poo-poo, -poo, you know what I mean? So, really cool feature, in fact. Uh, I believe we're going to the Waste Works here. Uh, just to make sure here. Uh, we are in the Foreign Quarter, and we need to talk to Hulia. And, uh, let's see where Hulia could be. Oh yeah, by the way, here's the Ordinators, and the Ordinators fucking hate you. Alright, listen, you wanna have a bad time? Fuck with the Ordinators. If you don't wanna have them, well, stay away. Three gods, one true faith. Ugh, these dudes. Go about your business, but 
but I'm watching you. What about the narrating? Oh yeah, this is prophecy, blah, blah, blah. We're watching you, scum. Fuck you too. All right. Anyway, here's this guy. What do you want? <laughs> this guy. Got any latest rumors? Have you heard? Seven victims here on Vivek, all with their throats slit. This is not what this character sounds like. When it was just a few outlanders killed, the older natives weren't making much fuzz. But now that they've had two of their own people with slit throats, they seem very really concerned at the halls of justice. I mean, the officer they watch is quite looking around for some special help. And they then killed two older natives before they draw their weapons. So it's like it would need special help. I need to take my ADD medicine. There's someone watching. Let's see here. Um, ordinators. Two ordinators and five outlanders have been killed in Vivek. Their throats slit. The rumors that the office of the watch at the Hall of Justice is very concerned is looking for special help. Well, let's just say that these, these ordinators, under the strict supervision and law imposed by Vivek himself, which also has named the city after him, um, he. Um, he is given any direction. I will tell the, this game tells you about it later. But anyone who dares call themselves the Neverine or anything about the Neverine cult will probably get you killed. And again, with these disturbing dreams I've been having, anyone that says they have that, well, you know. So let's just not fuck around with that. Anyway, let's see here. We are in the foreign quarters. Right, going in the foreign quarters at the Black Shell Corner Club. The Black Shell Corner Club. Where could that be? Kill Vivek. Yeah, that's that's a little easier said than done, but sure. <laughs> Let's see here. This is the Alchemist. This is the Rare Book Club. Apothecary. What's this regarding? Upper Waste Works. This is the. Uh, see, see what I mean with the, with this place being a little confusing. Here down is where the sewers are. We're going to go here. By the lovely stereo sound effect. Oh, uh, my, my head! Okay, let's go up here. Hey, by the way, fun fact. You guys, that all meme about the Lusty Argonian Maid? We actually meet the guy who wrote that in this game. He's in the game. Alright, here's the main four quarters, but should I go up to the... All the way up here? No, I don't think so. Hang on. The upper waist works. Perhaps that is it. No, I don't think so either. How the fuck, where's this thing again? Hey, it's Baisa, which means to poop in Swedish. It's not spelled that way, but it's pronounced that way. Anyway. Welcome to Vivek Cobb Salad. I'm sure you have questions. What would you like to know? Uh, would you like some salt? Yes. Come on, get some salt in ya. Yeah. Alright, thanks. No, I don't believe this is the place for the corner club. I believe it is in the lower waste works. Submit to the three. The Creepy. Hmm, is it down here, perhaps? I do remember vaguely that it's over here, but... Uh, it's the Enchanter, and this goes into the main four quarters here. Where am I missing it? I'm sure I passed it already. Let's see here. Uh, rare books, candle works, uh... Hey, it's right there, in fact. It's hide hidden away a little bit. Goes here, and then it goes here. I go up, scale back, scale back. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Wonderful. Okay, well, what's popping up here? I will listen out, Mander, but make it quick. Well, hey, boys, what's, Speak, traveler. what's happening here? Game. Here's Julia. I welcome you as the friend of my friend Cobb Salad, but I wish to go to my friend's bookstore, and these troublesome fools are in my way. I have tried to persuade them, but they hate my race, and I fear there will be violence. Perhaps you speak with them, but be careful and be ready. Are they racists? <laughs> oh no! We got Argonian racism. Oh no! 
Okay. Well, I'm sure we can talk it out. Hey, friend. Get out of our way. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Tie what? Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Time to die. Damn. My crime has been reported. Come on, that's not a crime. It's... Well, tell you what, tell you what. It is law in Morrowind that whoever attacks first, it's self-defense. So let's not start the attack. So let's talk to this guy. Am I talking to you, Fitcher? No, I am talking to the filthy lizard. So push off. What? Are you some kind of filthy lizard lover? You want to give your little friend a big kiss? Hey. Hey, you stop that. I'm gonna tell- I'm gonna- I'm gonna intend- I'm gonna taunt you. Cheap words, Nord. There's nothing behind them. I'm gonna intimidate you. Well, uh, you may think so, but I don't. Ta You're not making a good case for yourself, alright? Filthy lizard. Filthy lizard. Okay. You know what? Maybe if he's taunt him, you know what? He gets more pissed if I do this. Check this out. Ready? Keep doing this, and he'll hate me enough if I just be like filthy lizard, filthy lizard, and then suddenly keep doing this. See what I mean? And then, and then I taunt him. Oh, oh I accidentally bribed him. <laughs> Shit. Oops! Taunt them. You're pathetic. Probably nothing. Come on, dude. But you're pathetic. Fuck, I want to taunt him to like attacking me, but I'm. My speedcraft is so shitty. I'm gonna slip him 10 bucks and tell him, attack me, dude. Tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna tell him, just come with me, man. Come with me. This might actually be better. Troubles of fools. The sight of a free Harkonian offends these racist thugs. It would tarnish my Morag Tong honor to slay them, and I don't want any trouble. My friend Seth is skullmiss by fighting in his club, but I must go to my friend's bookstore, where we can talk in peace. If you have a way with words, perhaps you can talk to them. Or if you have a way with money, they might be bought. Otherwise, I fear there might be bloodshed. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Filthy lizard. This rotting piece of trash ought to be changed up somewhere, not running around loose. Hmm. But how do we. How do we. I should say first. Uh, you know, I could just slip the money and be like, listen, come here. Uh, um. Trying to just. Intimidate this guy, but. He's not. He's not gonna. He's gonna. He's not. Not gonna bait, bait it. I'm just saying, like, attack me, dude. Attack me, dude. <gasps> Taunt success. I guess after you saying, "Hey, dude, attack me, bro. Attack me, bro." He suddenly went, "You know what? Do it." Ray approaches. Are you not pissed at me now? I thought. I thought. I thought. That does it. <gasps> You is my Dumbass. Fuck is pretty strong. Far from the marsh. Wow. Oh, oh. Dude had throwing stars on him. Take that. I could kill that guard. Those boots are ruined. Oh, your boots are ruined, huh? Do you want something? Okay, well how about how about you then? Go away. Well, I'm trying to taunt you as well. I'm just, I'm just asking these guys like, oh, <laughs> I'm just asking these guys like, you know what, you want to fight? You want to fight this out? <laughs> and I'm having a tough titty of a time here. It would be easier to just like straight up kill them instead of taunting. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. Okay, you'll listen, alright. 
His kind aren't welcome here. He belongs in the swamp with the rest of them. And how easy it would be to slice your head off right now, but... Uh, let me do this a couple times. See, I already get him to dislike me a little bit. There we go. You know, it would, it's, see, again, it would be so much easier for me to at least, like... Slip him a little money so I can just get out of here, but no, we do it the violent, violent way because I'm Cobb Salad and I go head first into violence. Let's so, so, hope that this will succeed eventually. Uh, I'm having this ginormous argument with this guy, and it's basically turning into, hey, attack me, attack me. It's like, no, no, you're pathetic. And then eventually, it's like, alright, I had enough of you. Every character you make is like that. No, no this, this guy's a little bit more. He's not ass. I don't know if evil is the right word, but Bogan has a tendency to be a little bit more. Uh, fuck. Right, I accidentally bribed him. As I was saying, Bogan has a more tendency to, like, kill people dead, and that's canon. This guy is a little bit more civil, but. You know. See how civil he is? There we go. Got my speechcraft up a little. Hundred, hundred dollars spondulies. So much to remember. Yes, death. Are we ready to travel together? To job us just write our books? When we arrive at my friend's bookstore, I will answer your questions there. I sure am. Yes. Please follow me to Rash. Yep. Thank you, Cobb Salad. I will follow you to Jabasha's Rare Books, and we will speak further there. Let's go. Hey, b sorry about the uh, the blood and the. Tell your friends about this place. <laughs> I sure will. I sure will. Hey, it's good for business. Listen, I ran a little little pub down the street. Ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, fucking crazy. All right. Uh, there's the Yasha's red books. All right. Oh, what, what the fuck? Which I believe is if I go there and I gotta. I think I'm in the wrong area. If I do that, it's gotta be here. Hey, coming along. Here he is. Tell your friends about this place. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Um, yes, thank you very much. We shall be free from distractions here. Now, I said I'd tell you about the Nervering cult so you can report back to Caius. And I don't know any of the six cult, but I can tell you what I do know. Okay. I I'm not going to do this voice because I want to have a voice after the stream, so let's read this for normal. To understand the Nervering cult, you must understand the history of the Ashlanders. Nervering means something very different to the Ashlanders from what it means to the Dunmar of the Great Houses. You should know... You should know about the persecution of the Neverine and the legacy of the false incarnate. For the Neverine cult is at the heart of the ancient conflict between the nomadic Ashlanders and the settled great house of Dunmer. Here's a summary for Chaos, but ask your questions and I'll answer it in detail. Well, what's, what's this about the history of the Ashlanders? First of all, what is an Ashlander? The Ashlanders hate House Dunmer, who has become soft and who has abandoned traditional ancestor worship for the gods of the tribunal. And the Ashlanders hate Outlanders, who invaded and stole their land and for forced them to live as a, as a subject people. A reborn Never Nervar could drive out the outla Outlander invaders, destroy the false worship of the tribunal, and restore the pure traditional life and faith of the nomads will be, will be a very popular hero to the Outlanders. Hmm, all right. Well, what are the great houses? In modern times, Marwyn is ruled by five great houses. House Lalu, House Redoran, House Tavani, House Indoril, and House Dress. Great houses culture is partly defined by its roots in ancient Dunmer tri tribal clans. And part, partly by... Sorry, you guys hear this? Two a.m. Cutting up steel. What the fuck? It's so distracting. So I'm, I'm trying to read lore in the game. Uh, anyway. 
and partly by later imperial influence from other Western cultures. The Great Houses culture is only one of the native Dunmer cultures of Morrowind. The other native cultures, the Ashland culture, is a nomadic barbarian culture, largely untouched by imperial influences. So basically, the Ashlanders are some real natives of this Great Isle of Morrowind, and basically, they 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 don't like the Imperials, and it also happened on the uh, on Morrowind. They basically are waiting for Dark Elf Jesus to come back and kick them all out of here. That's essentially the plot of this game. And, uh, mm, who could this Nerevar person be? I don't know. But, yep. They're just waiting for a great hero to arrive and set things straight. But they are quite xenophobic. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a little bit more stories to the Dark Elves, but uh, let's talk about that at another point. But anyway... They're basically waiting for a, for a Jesus. So, <laughs> anyway, what about this uh, persecution there, Arena? All right, the temple treats the Nerevarian prophecies as heresy, and the temple imprisons and executes heretics unless prevented by imperial law. But since the Nerevarian cult is hostile to the empire, the empire does not interfere when the temple persecutes the cult. Ashlanders hate the uh, temple, and particularly the ordinators, for the ruthless treatment of the Nerevar cultists. Hmm. That's right. As I said earlier, if you go in and claim it, you're the Nerevarine, you're going to get your fucking ass inverted, all right? False incarnate. In the past, some have claimed to be the reincarnated Ner Nerevar. The most recent is known as Peak Star, a figure of legend among the West Waste tribes for the last 30 years. The temple says these false incarnates disprove the prophecies since the false incarnates fail and come to nothing. But the mystical Neverin cult glorifies rather than shrinks from contradiction, citing the appearances of failed incarnates as certain proof of Nerevar's coming rebirth. Hmm. Interesting. Well. Well, well, well. And again, I have notes from Heluia, so. A little bit of a uh, little bit more clarification here. Now we know, oh Jesus. If you're here for trouble, you'll get more than you bargain for. The yeah, fuck you do. All right. Uh, well, interesting. So now you know a little bit more about the uh, the political turmoil that's going on in this game. And again, there are five houses in this in this continent of Morrowind. Again, Halalu and all these. But the sixth one is Dagother's house. That, again, was smashed and destroyed because of heresy. Now, I want to go into detail here and tell you about what happened. And I want to tell you all about Vivek here. About who he is. What's all going here. Nerevar and all that. But I need to be quiet about it because if I tell you too much, then... Uh, yeah... Uh, not treason, uh, not heresy, treason, sorry. I, I kind of confused it too, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, watch this. I really wanted to take a swim. <sighs> All right, well, uh, tell you what, tell you what. We're getting really into this now. And we're going to continue Morrowind. And I said I would read these two books. But I'm going to do that for the next part. Because uh, I am done with Morrowind Part 2 for now. Because uh, it's getting a little late. And I'm going to resume with another stream. But I want to say thank you so much for wa watching Morrowind. We're getting more into the plot. We're reading up a little bit about Nerror. And uh, everything that's going on. But I hope this 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 story is um, for new viewers that never played this. Uh, quite interesting. It's quite different, but uh, I love this game and I love the story. But uh, we're gonna see where all this develops. And uh, whoop! That's how we do. All right. Well, Cobb Sal's gonna swim, <laughs> swim into an inn here, sleep for the night, and all that jazz. But uh, yeah. we got a lot of stuff done tonight. We have uh, boots of blinding speed with a new effect. You know, we got a little bit of Caius is done. We have uh, fighter skill stuff done. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but we'll read more stuff to next time. Not tomorrow, but next Thursday. Because that's when I want to do Morrowind. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Um, I will be back soon. A uh, little beer beer here. And we're going to do some hazardous course. So, be right back. Crush my clock with a rock? I must... Maximum pain I must endure. Okay, here we go. Ah! Ah!